What if I told you you could add multiple strokes to objects in Affinity Designer very easily? And with a few little tricks, you could do the exact same thing with text and keep it editable. And then what if I told you I'm about to show you exactly how to do it with a few interesting tricks as well. No, but seriously, it's true. Adding multiple strokes to an object is actually very easy. So let's get straight into it. So let's say, for example, we have a shape like this. Nothing fancy. It looks like a number four, actually. Didn't realize until I just looked at it then. Anyway, we want to add a stroke to this object. So simply put, we select the object and head up to the color picker area. And the second circle, which is behind usually, is the stroke. Click on that, choose a color, and we'll automatically add a stroke, which is very difficult to see right now because it's only one pixel big. So heading up to this area here, you can see that you can click and increase the width of the stroke. Now, if this area doesn't pop straight up, what you can actually do is head to the character tab, which if you don't have this window open, if you head down to view, studio character this window will pop up and in here you can actually increase the stroke value just as easily cool great we've added a stroke but we want multiple strokes so how do we do that if you head over to view studio and down to appearance if you don't already have it open which i do conveniently right next to character you'll have this window which looks pretty basic now here you can actually toggle on and off the different strokes and fills that you have already on your shape but right down at the bottom, you have add stroke. Now you simply click on this and a new stroke gets added. If we click on this stroke, head over to the color wheel, pick another color, and then within this, increase the stroke. And you'll see they'll kind of start stacking on top of each other. So right now, each stroke is being added to the center. And what we want actually for them to be is on the outside. So if we set that one to outside, and let's set this one to outside, what you will see, pick a brighter color. What you'll see right now is that the blue one is overtaking the right, the red one. So in actual fact, these are stacked in from topmost to bottom. So right now the blue stroke is right at the top and therefore hiding the red one. So if we made the red one bigger, you'll see that it'll come out from behind. And let's say we want another one. Let's pick a green and again, let's set it to outside. You can also set it to inside as well if you want to do that. But we'll stick it to outside but you can have a mess around with all these settings and see what they do and experiment to see which one looks best for you let's increase the size again now say for example we don't want this green to be between the red and the blue let's say we want the green to be on the outside all we would do is select the object that we have drag the green stroke put it underneath the red one and then increase the size of the green stroke and you'll now see that it's on the outside of everything. But what's even better is that we can actually make each of these strokes slightly different. For example, you can see down the side, they're all stacked as normal, but instead we could make them interact with the layers below in different ways. For example, if we use this red one, select normal, and you can see we can set it to darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, all the ones that we usually have to make it interact with the other colors that are involved. We can even set it to something like erase, which now is a very different, interesting looking shape. So now that we have set it to erase, that stroke area is going to be erased, no matter how big we make this. And then no matter what color we change our background to, it'll always be erased. Some of those have some very, very horrible eye feelings to them. So that's how you add it to objects. But now let's add it to text. So you might be thinking, perfect, let's do the exact same thing except with some text. So say if we had the word stroke and we want to add a stroke to it, same thing, add a stroke. Now if we head over to the appearance tab, you'll see that we have our stroke, we have our fill, we have the same options of normal and normal and the ability to increase the size. But down here, we can't actually add a stroke to it. It's actually grayed out. So what do we do? Now, once we've added our first stroke, which same as before, is set to the outside, then here's the little trick. Instead, what we do is head down to the layer effects. And what we want to do is add an outline. And with this outline, we'll increase the size and change the color. Perfect. Now, what we want to do is add another stroke or add another stroke. Instead, what we'll do now is if you right click the text layer that you're editing and go down to group or alternatively you could hit Control and G. Now you've got your group is add a layer effect to that group. So now if we head down to layer effects, add another outline, make it bigger and then change the color. 
and then we want to add another one so right click go to group we made our group and you can actually see them within here we've made our group go to layer effects add an outline make it bigger and we've got ourselves multiple strokes around text now if we want to edit this it's very easy we just have to head down through our groups to our original text file and edit our text so if we change this you'll see that all the layer effects actually get added to our text and all the effects are kept the same there is one thing which I will mention to you is make sure whenever you do this that you select scale with object because if you change the size of any of these scale with object will make sure that it's resized correctly and it doesn't keep its size and then go really distorted and strange and just make sure it's selected trust me if you want to know more about it check out that video up in the top but it's yeah it should just be on by default in my opinion and no matter if we change the text if we change the size it'll still be kept exactly the same so it makes it super useful whenever you're making designs and you think oh you want to change something so all of this gives you the ability to add more effects and different styles to your text and objects and you can really get some cool looking designs by just doing this see really wasn't that hard now you know how to do it so hopefully you found this information useful and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like this if you want to follow me on all the social links that's all in the description below but as always I've been Brown Bear, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.